Is your classroom an effective learning environment? If you are working towards a blended learning classroom, using research-based frameworks can help you maximize learning for your students. There are a lot of ways to think about implementing blended learning in a classroom. Many of these approaches are based on what has worked for one school or another. Our approach is different. We believe it is important to lean on the vast knowledge base of learning science throughout the last century. In doing so, we base our approach on a seminal book called How People Learn. This framework isn't about technology or blended learning, it's about effective learning. Every classroom is a community, and the science on productive learning environments gives us different ways to understand how this community functions, the elements that make it work. The How People Learn framework describes this as the four dimensions of effective learning environments. Community-centered classrooms can include your community, your whole school community, and the wider community around your school. We'll focus on how community in the classroom supports learning by providing a safe and encouraging place where students can grow and feel connected. In our classroom, we try to establish each year a very strong sense of community. And it, it kind of feels like every class has a story of its own. Um, you know, each year has its own inside jokes or its own special memories. When we consider learner-centered environments, we start with the knowledge and the knowledge gaps that each child brings with them to the classroom. We also draw on culturally responsive and relevant practices to include the most appropriate ways to communicate within the classroom. We see each child as an individual. We recognize that each individual has certain strengths, uh, certain challenges. It's our job to help them to be the best that they can be. A third essential piece of this framework is a knowledge-centered environment. In order to create an effective classroom, teachers need to help students organize discrete pieces of information into larger bodies of knowledge. The focus here is on connection and mastery. So they're making the connection between what they're learning in their software program and what I'm teaching. It's amazing. It's just like, yes, this is what I'm here for. <laughs> I'm here to connect those dots of those, those gaps and to close that so that I know that you're, you're learning what um, you need to be learning. The final descriptor in our overall framework is an assessment-centered learning environment. While nearly every classroom contains assessments, they aren't all connected to the learning goals. Using adaptive software helps teachers tighten the feedback loops between the time a skill is taught, practiced, and refined to help a learner really solidify new knowledge. Further, these programs provide rich data to teachers so they can fill knowledge gaps and personalize instruction for their students. It finds their personalized path based on how they're doing and adapts to their level so each student is um, getting what they need for exactly the spot in their learning they're at. And it'll fill in gaps for them or um, reteach them things that they maybe haven't learned yet or haven't mastered yet. And then it'll move on to what they're ready to learn next community-centered, learner-centered, knowledge-centered, and assessment-centered. These four dimensions overlap as they give us different yet interconnected ways to understand how effective learning environments function. When teachers are attentive to creating a blended learning classroom that is strong in all of these areas, they are building the best possible environment to help their students thrive. We at Higher Powered Learning use the How People Learn framework to help our teachers and leaders build effective blended learning environments that are based on solid research. If these topics interest you, please join the Higher Powered Learning Network. For guidance on using this framework in your classroom practices, sign up for the HPL Network's learning progression at hplnetwork.org.